Hey guys, so this is going to be a do-it-yourself tutorial on how to get your own wall decals. I don't know about you guys, but some of the wall decals that I want, I can never find like online or anywhere or in stores. So I was in the kitchen one day and I noticed that the shelving on paper on inside the cabinets was like the similar material to what wall decals were. So I looked into it and I found out that the wall, the shelving paper doesn't ruin the walls. And I tested it myself. I went to Walmart and I bought a roll of uh, shelving paper. Um, it's called contact paper. So you can find it at any Walmart or any grocery store, I guess, that you have in your area or any store like that, department store like that. And um, yeah, so this was $2 and it was for a roll. It's a pretty good deal. And um, but I wanted black. They didn't have black anywhere in my city. Like I went everywhere and I couldn't find black. So I just set up for the white one and um, for my room, my room theme is black and white, but the walls are a beige color, so white wouldn't really stand out. So I decided just to paint paint it because there's nothing else that we can really do because I can't find black contact paper. Um, I used this before, the, just the white one for my brother's room, and his room's like a, um, a light green, you could say a minty green, and um, the white actually looked nice on his walls. And um, I mean wall decals for him and his say Barack Obama's quote our destiny isn't is not written for us but by us for my room I'm doing this quote that you probably heard but I tried to find it and I think it's anonymous because I can't find the person who actually said it but a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear that's what I want above my closet room door so yeah, so this is how it started. So you get contact paper, which you can find anywhere. And then I just painted it this one. And yeah, and I'll show you how to do the fonts. You can either freehand it, or you can um, go down, uh, like print off some print off some letters off your computer. Um, yeah, but use card, like card stock paper, because that's hard and it'll be easier to trace. So yeah, let's get into it. I got all the letters ready and they're ready to go up. And that's where they'll be going. And there's the final product. I really like the way it turned out. Yeah, for $2 for a whole roll and you can use that roll for more. Like I still have more than half that roll left. You can use it for all other projects too. And yeah, it's only $2 so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it, please um, like, comment, or subscribe. And thanks for watching.